Hey guys, welcome to another 100 days episode on Ragnarok with no engrams. Um, in this episode I will show you day 31 till 40 and today we are going to start off by getting some honey, a pelagornis and a dire bear. We will get the dire bear to get some honey, a pelagornis to sit on while we're fishing because we got the fishing rods, uh, rods in the last episode and well we'll see what happens next so before we can get some honey um, we're going to tame a dire bear we can obviously get honey without a dire bear but this will make it a whole lot easier so this is a very low level, 15 I think and I will just try to get it in that trap so we can easily knock it out with the uh, with the Equus did it go in? well it did Try and knock it out. The best way to you to tame the uh, dire bear is with uh, what do you call it? Honey, of course. But you don't need to. You can also use um, mutton or other meat, I guess. <laughs> okay, I will be back if I found a new one. Okay, let's try this again. Let's try another one. A higher level, it's level 90, I think. Yes, level 90. So I'm just going to try and knock this one. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Okay. I think I have to try this with some arrows. Okay, I, I realize it's very dark to see this piece of the video on YouTube, but I have to try this. I am sure this time I've got Trank arrows equipped on my uh, bow, so I'll just try and knock this one out. It is a low level again. Let's see if the trunk arrows do a better job than the Equus. Oh. It's bloody already, so... Please go down. I don't think it can take another... <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Okay. Let's just feed it some of this. I don't know how much of it it does need, but we'll see soon enough. And I'll be right back. Hello, Diplo. I found a 150 Pelagornis. It's the red one, pink one. I'm just going to wait until it lands and then I will trap it with a tent. So I will show you in a second what that's all about. Let's get the tent ready, actually. The 
that's it. And if it's trapped right, it will not be able to get out. So I have to see where the entrance is. This is the entrance. Let's just get the horse right there. Okay, we have to open the tent. I will wait until it's blocking the other way or else it might get out and I don't want it to get out of course Sit. So you cannot hit it through the tent? Well, it's as easy as that. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to hop off there. <laughs> okay. Let's get rid of the horse. And I think I have to feed it prime fish meat. I got a lot of that when I was getting the two shows, so I am at a place now where I can get a lot of honey uh, I will show you for now this is a beehive for people that don't know this is a beehive and you can gather honey from it like this I can press E and gather honey but I might die or I might get hurt a lot um, that's fine but uh, you will only get five honey from it I think and if you do this with a bear with a dire bear you'll get 15 honey if I'm correct and you will not be attacked so right mouse button 15 honey there you go and in this location on the map I will show you quickly there is a lot of honey uh, and some of the places like this are pretty easy to reach and I think there's not a place right here that is easy to reach can I get it? yes, I can get it well there's already 30 honey so I will just take this and I can go fishing with it ok this is my place where I go fishing most of the time if I play on Ragnarok this area is Viking Bay and I'm going to the top of this waterfall there is one pond with fish and there's another one and it's pretty safe out here so that's awesome and I will just show you the first time how it works You can go uh, fishing on a Pelagonis. Normally you have to be seated on a chair, but the Pelagonis does also work as a chair. Weirdly enough. So yeah. Uh, I just found another saddle. <laughs> but yeah. Let's just do this. You can sit on it. You can oh I'm a little bit heavy. Let's throw some stuff in there. Okay. That should do. Uh, if you want to, you can pick off the small fish so they uh, so you only catch the bigger fish. But yeah, I won't do that because I always seem to hit the large fish. <laughs> fish if I try to 
kill the small fishes. So, um, as you can see, you can just land on the water with the Pelagonius. That's awesome. And to equip honey to your fishing rod, you have to put your fishing rod in your normal inventory, put the honey on there, place it back. Oh, there was some lag. And just wait until the fish bites. And when the fish bites, there will be a mini game. You will have to press uh, all the right buttons. And if you press all the right buttons, you will catch a fish. fish. There you go. X, A, X, A, A. That's it. Tie a bit of saddle. Oh, it's a big one. Uh, only a fur cap. Just some stuff. Awesome. Okay, some good saddles, but not the saddles that I'm aiming for. I am here with some Ichthyornises and I will try to tame one because that will make it easier to tame a otter later on. Oh. I hope I can get a better level because a level 20 dies with this bow. No, it's not very straight. Yes, it's knocked out. Awesome. So I will try and tame that one. That one is dead. What level are you? Oh, 135. I might be able to tame that. So let's try. Oh, oh, that's all my prime fish meat. Oh, oh man. Dead. Oh, that's another one. It's this one, but it has oxygen and it depletes pretty quickly. And get some prime fish meat. This one. Fish meat. That's better. Okay, the level of the Ictionis doesn't doesn't really matter, I guess, so. Okay, I just uh, landed on this place because there was a yellow drop. It had a Carno saddle or something like it. Not that useful, but 
I also tame, uh, tamed, I didn't tame it, I spotted a otter. And this, it is a level 135, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, that's him. And this is where the uh, Ichthyonius also comes in handy, because I will just Let's see if this works. I don't know if it works from the water. It does. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. So we're just going to... Where's the fish? Oh, there's the fish. It will kill the fish. And it will get a glow. And the glow means that it will be easier to tame the otter. So it will have a very high... <laughs> that's it already. Oh, this, uh, this is another otter. Okay. Oh, sorry. It will have a pretty high taming effectiveness, so that's awesome. Uh, Ichthyonis. You have to set it on hunt and retrieve, like I have right now. Where is the other otter? Oh, it is over there. Okay. So let's get the fish. It is a pretty big, big fish, so that's always good. There's the otter. That's it. That's one feed. I think I have to use two or three fishes. But that's fine. is over there and there's another big fish so it will drop it close to me it will drop it close to me where is it oh there it is The other. There we go. Uh, the reason why I did get them is because we can store artifacts in them, so you can get more artifacts, um, more of the same artifacts with you from one place. That means I only have to do the uh, life's labyrinth and that kind of places only once and that will save me a lot of time so that's awesome and I ask you guys where I should make my base and I didn't get a whole lot of comments but um, I asked it, asked, asked it on a reddit as well and they said make a base in the murder snow so yeah why not <laughs> I might just give it a try and the otter if you have the otter on your back it will uh, give some insulation so it is easier to survive in, uh, in cold places so those are two very good reasons to tame a otter right now in the Okay, it is worth to bring you back a little bit. There is a Tyla saddle and a yellow drop. So that's awesome. I can make as much of those as I want. So that's really perfect. I've been hunting a lot of drops. And this is the first Tyla saddle. So that's great. And I found it. If 
you want to know. I found it in the uh, entrance of the cave to the uh, Ice Queen, the Ice Worm Queen. Okay, I have never seen this before, but there is a blueprint for a trank arrow in this drop. Well, yeah, just wanted to show you, but this is awesome, so I can make a trank arrows from now on. Well, let's take some arrows as well then. Great! Okay, I have tried to go to the murder snow with uh, this equipment. This also gives some insulation. Um, all in all, it's a lot, but it's not enough. I also have the otter equipped, as you can see. Let's go like this. I have the otter equipped, so um, yeah, I cannot take it yet. So I will have to make uh, some fur gear, and I have some blueprints for it, but I need a whole lot of. Um, how do you call this stuff? Well, let's just find out by killing it. my pelt. Yes, that's what I need. I hold a lot of pelt. So, um, I will go around and get some pelt. And I can also um, increase the me melee on the otter. That will also help to keep me warm, so, yeah. Uh, I will actually show you how I get a whole lot of pelt. As you can see, like this, I only get 11 pelt. It's between 10 or uh, 20, something like that. Depends on the level, I think. Okay, we just kill these dudes really quick. But the trick to get a whole lot of belt I don't want to harm somebody. The trick to get a whole lot of belt is by using the chainsaw. Like this. We got almost 400 with it. So that's a whole lot more than uh, just with the uh, wyvern. So I will be going around to do that. There's a lot of belt around here, so yeah. Okay, I found a high level UT while I was in the snow killing some mammoths. So I will just try and tame it because it is a level 140. I will try and shoot it. A little bit better. I will not be able to uh, get it down with a Equus, so we'll just use the trank arrows on it. This is not the smartest specimen, I think. But Neither am I. Oh, that was so close. Okay. Follow it. Did it disappear? That's Ark. So it is the middle of the night and I had to try the fur armor that I just crafted. Um, I made up some, uh, some Mastercraft fur gauntlets. Those are pretty good and I made some fur leggings, Ascendant. Uh, it is very good. I have a very high hypothermal insulation right now 
and as you can see I can survive with minus 65 in the murder snow the murder murder snow and uh, yeah so I'm just going to find a place for a base I will have a very good look around because there are some cool places obviously and I'm going to look for a RG because I want to farm some more metal because these uh, fur pieces took a lot of my metal so yeah well I was looking for a RG and I was looking for the murder snow but I well, I hope you can see it, but I didn't expect to find an RG under the ice. I found a level 145 RG, it's right below me. So I'm just going to try and tame it. Oh, that's bad. the RG did kill them. Okay, of course. It is a high level RG. Uh, I have trank arrows. A oh, oh, come on. RG. Be mine. Oh, that's too... Uh, that's right. A few moments later Oh, it's not that, okay So now I have to protect it It's looking pretty good actually It's perfect I can give it some mutton. Now I just have to guard it a bit and wait for it to wake up. So I've tamed the RG and I will show you the best way to uh, farm some metal. I don't use it a lot myself but yeah, it is used a lot by a whole lot of people. <laughs> so just go up to a metal node, hang above it, just wait until the Anki has done his thing, and fly to the next one. This is a very good way to farm some metal. So I will show you how much metal I have gathered this way once I get back to base. So this is the end result with one trip on the uh, Argentavis with a Anki. It is a whole lot of metal. It is the middle of the night and uh, at day 38 and I was just going for some drops that's what I usu usually do in the night and look what's there it's a ice white egg it probably means there's a ice white around also I don't think it can kill me so Oh, that's awesome. Level 175. That's great. <laughs> that will fit at our new place, I guess, if we... Uh, if we are going to build in a cold area. Oh, there is probably... Yeah, no, 175. I'll just keep it alive. I don't know 
for sure if it can lay another egg, so it would be cool. So I found a, a place for my base location. It is in the murder snow. This is in the snow. A couple of steps back it's in the murder snow. That's it. And it is pretty flat, so that's awesome. And I think I can make some water pipes to down there. It's a whole long way to build water pipes, but well, that's alright. So I'm just going to make a uh, small base and I will make it bigger in some of the later episodes. But uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Hey guys, so a couple of things have happened. I am building my base, as you know. But I need a whole lot of metal and a whole lot of cementing paste and stuff. So I came here to get a lot of cementing paste. I think I have about 14 beaver dams right now worth of cementing paste and wood and rare flowers, mushrooms, everything. So that's perfect. Uh, but I also came here to look out for some otters because I had an otter on my back but I have some uh, I've had some moments uh, where I was off so I had to log out and log in again and I forgot to pick up my otter at some stage and I don't know where it is so I only have this one otter right now but the reason why I take you back to this point is I have found a otter somewhere around here it's level 90 Oh, it's, that, it's right there. So I will tame it. And it is pretty late. It's uh, almost 8 o'clock on day 40. So, oh, this is a level 50 otter. So this is another one. So I will tame a couple, actually. Uh, so I will take you back in a moment to my base. So you can see the progress on that as well. So I will tame these otters and I will see you right back. So come here otter. Nice, that's one already. It is getting dark already but just wanted to show you the base real quick before we end this episode. Uh, this is where I um, build the base. It's not nearly done, but uh, this is the amount of space I have. I've built the fabricator, as you can see, a lot of forges so I can smell a lot of metal. My plan is to build a wall around it, of course. We can go there for now. And there's some. Uh, upstairs space as well so yeah that's gonna be it so I am uh, going to get some metal maybe some more cementing paste and then I will uh, be back with you in the next episode so we can uh, finish the base and I think I will try and take on the uh, ice worm queen so we can uh, get another artifact so i hope to see you in the next episode please like subscribe if you haven't done that already and i will see you in the next one goodbye